now for something completely different. I'm on my way to Soli Hull to the Land Rover Experience to have a bit of off-road driving tuition which could come in very handy in congested West Kent. Who knows? Anyway, it should be a bit of a laugh. It's a bit of a stormy day here in the Midlands. I wonder if Land Rovers go when it's wet. This is it. I think this is it. Hello, morning uh, or afternoon. Uh, Land Rover experience. Well, I've got a fair bit of metal here, that's for sure. Ah, oh, word. Gee whiz, look at all these Range Rovers. <laughs> oh dear, look at all these. Blimey. Make them an offer. So bad, thank you. Fabulous. Under What's the circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so rainy as well. What's yeah. going do on? They, the do price? they still go in the rain? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. As you well know. Okay. Um, and here we go. And they're off. In the rain. <laughs> Fantastic. I went to select low range for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's done. Low range. And rock crawl. Okay, I've got rock crawl and low range. Super stuff. So what I'm going to do, Dave, is I'm going to drive on first. Um, and I'll come off the other end. I'll jump out of the vehicle and I'll guide you across. This is really good as well, so you can actually see what's going on underneath the vehicle. So you get a different perspective, so you can see your air suspension working, as well the way these sort of like uh, low wishbones are moving around. And also as well with side slopes, like I say, they are incredibly dangerous. So you, you know, even when you're looking at them now, I think it doesn't look too bad, but once you're in this elevated position, you know, and also your suspension is in sort of off-road height, everything gets over-accentuated. So it does make you think, oh, should I be doing it? If you ever feel like that, there's always the old, you've always got that magic reverse. Oh my word, it's raining. Thanks always, mate. Perfect, there's a red line towards me, that'd be great. Right. That's extraordinary. Super. Wow. Okay, I'm going to jump back in the car. So the next obstacle we're looking at is going to be a large amount in front of my vehicle. Okay, so I'm applying the gas now, squeeze it, almost like I've got a sponge underneath the gas pedal. I can't see anything at all now, so I'm just referring to those cameras. Making sure I've got an equal gap either side of the vehicle. Keeping the gas on. Coming to the top of the flat row, straightening my wheels. The oldest thing control is on. And on your plus and minus, just make sure you're going to over setting when you're happy. Just release the brake and then just let the car take you down. Wow, this is steep. Man, I would never have believed that we could go over there. Oh man, I would never have believed. As you say, keep the gas on, keep it on, turn it back off. I see a little bit left for me. And just keep going on, keep going on, straight wheels now. Keep going forward. Okay, let me just let me just clear out the way. Right, and when you're ready, just let the car go forward. You'll be able to take control of the off the brake completely. Oh my word.
word look at that. Great stuff. So, uh, I'm going to make my way down. Again, just in this position, it's sort of like, you know, crossing over this 45 degrees. Pulls off the brake. The other thing control is on. You'll feel like the car's going to get damaged on the left hand side, but we just about make it. A little bit of gas just to move us out. start with. Modern Rats program on target speed, hill descent control is about three so miles. Let me clear this, uh... So we're on the hill descent control now, it's just taking it itself. There we go.
completely in control the whole time. No problem at all. Going through a very jungly sort of bit here now. <laughs> I'm glad I'm using their car, not mine. <laughs> and also, as well, we're going to some of the tracks as well. Just go through the terrain response programs, choose the appropriate program that you choose to ask you to some of those areas. Okay, so the tracks have changed again, so I'm just going to change one more program. Uh, I've just seen what's in front of me, so we've just got one run, so I'm going to change it to So that's going to be our first gear and second gear if I need to make any more progress. That's it, so in low ratio, first gear and just change it up to second with the flatty paddle. Wow, that's pretty, pretty rutty here. That's some big ruts. careful with these trees on either side. I want to uh, dent their nice new motors. I guess this is probably £100,000 worth of car that I'm driving here so I don't really want to vend it. Yay! Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to try and get out of the rut and go to the track to your left. So whenever you're ready, right, okay. I know you start to enter the rutted track, yeah. uh, just try and see if you can get yourself out. Okay, now if you come forward towards me. Right, so it's coming a little bit further forward, that'd be perfect, that's great. Okay, so starting to enter the rut now, so stop there for me. What I'd like to do now is, get into that track just to your left. Um, so make a good concerted effort to try and get into that track. Right. <laughs> As you keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. It won't go, will it? <laughs> we're stuck, yeah. It's quite tricky. Yeah. Oh no, we're stuck in the rut there. So I'm just going to show you something. Nice weather for it, boss. <laughs> it's quite tricky once you're in there. You've got yeah. great big wheels on, great big tires. I yeah. should be able to fly over there, no problem. Yeah, uh, no, it won't go out. Really will it? difficult. Yeah. Really difficult. Yeah. So I'm going to show you, we actually winched off this tree here, mm. so that's that tree there, I'll oh, just find it, there we go, mm. this is what we call an Indian rope trick. Mm. Okay, then whenever you're ready we'll move on. After you sir. We're in the middle of Soli Hull, it's a bit like being in the Amazon there. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh dear. That was a tree root. <sighs> Yay. I got the second gear, I think. That's it. There's some jolly old ruts here. Yay. Nice bit of mud there, blimey. And these are just standard road tyres on these things. Wow. Oh, I've had a lot of rain recently and uh, it certainly shows.
extraordinary with these vehicles. It's just so rough and horrible and muddy out there, and yet it's so luxurious in here. It's, it's incredible. Okay, Dave, so we've got a, where I'm sitting now, you can't see it from where you are. We've got quite a little, a little drop, it's going to take us into some water. So I'm going to actually set my car up uh, to accommodate this drop as well. So uh, the program I'm going to choose is Rock Crawl. Um, um, I've got my cameras on. So I'm just going to tease the car forward so I can see my exit points in the car all the way down. Right, so hill descent control takes it. <clears throat> okay, whatever you're ready, guys. Whoa. Ooh. Great, nice drive. So now I'm going to wow. take out a rough roll and I'm going to put it into grass gravel snow. And that's going to give me second gear, and it's also going to accommodate uh, the sort of water conditions in front of us. So we're going to move forward. So let me just clear it first, and then just follow me through once I'm clear. The car will fit underneath. Thank you, Dave. Whenever you're ready, and at the end, we're going to be turning right. to trim the bushes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That word. Oh, wow, that went down some. Oh, my word. So close to a, a road on the right here where cars are whizzing past on tarmac, and here we are doing this. So strange. Very good, thanks, Dave. Very good. Yeah, great fun. We didn't get stuck. No. That's good. Well, it, it didn't put a foot wrong. Didn't hesitate. It just just yeah, did it. You know, perfect. amazing. Yeah. And these are road tires, aren't they? Completely standard. Wow. Completely Incredible. Standard, yeah. yeah. And we've got some more challenges for you. Great. Great stuff. Thank you. <laughs> I think if you're going to have a Land Rover product you really should do one of these experiences because it teaches you all about this technology which otherwise you wouldn't really understand at all. I mean not that many Land Rover users are actually going to do this stuff my dear. <laughs> not in a new car anyway. Would you actually attempt that in your own car? I don't know. Yay. Mm. So again, there you go, as long as you feel comfortable. Oh, the sun's coming out, my word. Twenty-three degrees. We're over here. Twenty-three degrees. Whoa. Yeah. The 
so much dramatic stuff here I'm gonna have trouble knowing what to choose for, for a video ah. oh man look at this There's a bit of scrabbling going on there from the front wheels. <laughs> oh, hey. yeah, a bit of scrabbling going on there. But it's no problem. It's effortless. We just do it. I'm going to move the vehicle forward now to the first step. And then I'm going to hold it on the first step. So this might be a good place if you want to do a GoPro video. So at this point now, field descent control is on, but also field descent control is going to the lowest setting, which I'm happy about. And all I'm going to do now is turn the foot of the brake and let the car chase again. Right, so we're going down some steps in hill descent control. Wait here until he's done it. Right there he goes. It's gone down the bottom. And here we go. I'm missing the sides. Yep, missing the sides. Okay, so I've got my feet off everything. Descent control is just taking it. I'm not braking, I'm not accelerating, not doing anything, it's just doing it itself. There we go, that's great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. We're now in the jungle track, which has been here unaltered apparently since 1947. <laughs> Hopefully, they might cut the bushes occasionally. Jeez. <laughs> Evening Tommy, I've been coming around here for years. Every time I come around here I just can't believe we're actually in the middle of a manufacturing facility. It could be in the middle of the Amazon uh, driving through here. In a hundred and twenty cents a pound vehicle, that's not a bad way to travel. Yeah, oh my word, yeah. If we're lucky today, you might even see the kingfishers. Yeah. Come on side, we've got woodpeckers, uh, black cattle fish, we've also got foxes, we've got monk jacks as well on site. This is absolutely a wash. I don't know if it's always this wet. Probably not. I'm glad I haven't got to get out. <laughs> if you could just select grass gravel snow for me, that's going to accommodate the sort of uh, water course uh, we're going to be going through as well. It is very deep in here today. Waiting capability for our vehicle is 900 mil, so we've got plenty of waiting capability. Right, so uh, we have got a weight sensor in the vehicle. If you go to your home screen, uh, just put the weight sensor on and it'll give you a good indication of how deep the water is outside. Right. Make sure your windows are up, there's a lot of soft foliage that will actually want to come into the cab as well. So, for example, if you're using one of our uh, older models, for example, an old Defender, you definitely have to make some progress through in here, creating a bow wave, creating a depression either side of the car to keep the water away from the air intake. Gosh. Dave, it's a little bit tricky. 
So just make your way round. The car will move around quite a lot on this corner. So just keep the gas on and it will take you round. So get nice and slow on that corner. Gently squeeze the gas pedal just to feed the car around. Keep it on, don't back off, keep it on. Perfect. And just follow me through. Guys, that was deep. If you look over to your right, there's, an exit. there's no exit there, but Jamie Clarkson thought there was an exit. <laughs> so he give it a shot, and he actually got the vehicle stuck in there. <laughs> So coming through, it is very deep today. And the water level has been checked, so we should, we're okay to bring these vehicles through. You couldn't come through in a Velar, Discovery Sport, uh, or any Vogue, because the water is far too deep for this sort of model. So like driving through any sort of water, even on road, you know, uh, if you're not too sure, just go around the long way. It's just not worth wrecking your car for. So even with our vehicles as well, if you came to a Ford on the road and it was like gushing across, uh, you'd probably think, yeah, my car could do that, no problem at all. You know, the, the water's only showing two feet of water. But it's also considering the actual force of that water crossing the road as well. So potentially forcing that vehicle uh, to the left or the right. So there's all those other factors you've got to put in the mix before you consider driving those sort of conditions. This is my wade sensor and it's telling me we've got quite a lot of water going on. Gee whiz. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> That's really cool, thanks. Yeah, amazing. A lot of steam coming out from underneath, <laughs> which is no great surprise considering all the water that we've just been through. I've got quite a lot of squeaking going on underneath that doesn't seem to be related to braking at all. Right, okay, Dave, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll secure the vehicles and there's an all stop here, well, I'll jump out and I'll have a look. picked up a stone between your brake disc and your, your brake shield. Oh, okay. So what I'd like you to do is select reverse and just go back as far as you can. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it seems to have stopped. Yeah, so what you've done is you've popped the stone out. Ah. Uh. Okay, <laughs> super stuff. So yeah. we're going to go to uh, another mm -hmm. entrance up to the land track. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go on a little bit of road work first. Mm -hmm. So if you could put, take it out of low range for me. Mm -hmm. Neutral, out of low range. Right stuff. And low if range. you could, we're out of terrain, we're still in grass, gravel, snow. So if you just put it into comfort mode, so you're back in auto now, terrain response, mm -hmm. so you want to come out of that. That's it, you can look on there, it's taking you straight into comfort, comfort mode. Right. Perfect. Great, so we'll just make some progress this way, Dave. Thank you. Okay, Dave, a little bit of history about the site. So it's just over 308 acres, so it's a huge facility. We've got about 10,000 people that work on site. 
across the three shift rotation as well, uh, mornings, afternoons and nights. We're approximately building 12 to 15 cars a day, uh, so that's quite an impressive build. Um, and 80% uh, of what we build will actually go abroad. So people ask us as well, how long does it take to build a car? So it takes approximately three days. So it's one day in paint, two days in manufacturing, and they'll go to dispatch and within six to 24 hours, those vehicles will be moved off site. Uh, so it's quite a big turnaround. Yep. There's an amazing amount of metal stood here. Jeez. On the left, there's a lot of, stuff, a lot of left hand drive, so these will be going broad, obviously. And if you look over to your right, you can see a sea of cars. Um, and when that car park is full, it's almost full now, uh, you're looking at about three billion pounds worth of assets in there. So every sort of 11 cars, you're looking at about a million pounds. Uh, yeah. I'm actually really proud of Land Rover. I think it's a great national asset and I always wanted to own a Range Rover most of my life and then eventually a couple of years ago I managed to actually do that and it was it was a great time for me actually. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's great out of too. Well, I mean, I've been here 25 years and I've loved every minute of it. And I'm, I'm sure if you put any of the instructors here open, you'll probably see Land Rover stamped mm. <laughs> here all the way around like a stick of rock. Mm. But yeah, I mean, you know, with the models coming through, it's like the Range Rover. Absolutely, you know, from back in the early days with Spen King, when he first developed that sort of chassis. I mean, even every line on this car has a purpose why it's there. Uh, enhance the whole design and the look of the vehicle. Mm. So you've got the classic, uh, you've got the, the C38 which came out as well, which I worked on, uh, and then you've got sort of, uh, the L322 Range Rover under the, under BMW, uh, and uh, it was absolutely amazing, amazing bit of kit. Then you got the obviously the 405, and then you got this this one here, 494. Low range selected and we want to go mud and ruts. There we are. Mud and ruts and let's move forward. this muddy bank here, who would imagine that you could get up there without slipping? Who would imagine it? Here we go. Here we go. And we got up it. We got up it. Is there anywhere these things can't go? We're going to do the steps, I believe. Where's he going? Up there. Have you ever used the, the ATPC, the All Terrain Progress Control? No. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Okay. So there it is there, just above the hill descent control. So if you press that, mm -hmm. you can see on there it's changed the car to a number one. Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. Bring the steering wheel round. So if you press the plus button, mm -hmm. you see it's gone solid. Uh -huh. See a little arrow going up and yeah, down. That's you want to take it all the way down to okay. the lowest setting. Okay. 
keep going, keep going, that's great. Mm -hmm. So now, when you take your foot off the brake, the cold door will throttle for you. Mm. If you feel it's painfully slow, you probably will do because mm. of your, your driving ability today. What you're gonna do is just press the plus button once or just increase your target speed mm -hmm. just to create that momentum. So it just means you can focus more on your steering. Really, it's aimed at sort of quite nervous drivers. You just need to focus more on their steering. Mm -hmm. So I'll clear this track and you give it a go. Okay, uh, thank you. Wow, this looks a little bit, <laughs> a little bit rutted, to put it mildly. Whoa, so it's on terrain progress control, which is giving me a constant little speed as we go up these ruts. Incredible ruts. It's raining again. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're a little bit muddy. This is one muddy little slope. Let's see if we can get up this one. Oh man! Oh, yay! Gosh! Yay! Incredible! To the jungle track. Oh, hey. <coughs> Man, look at that. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want to do this <clears throat> in your brand new car. Really is flowing water here. It's flowing down these tracks.
a good job the door seals are effective, otherwise we'd have wet feet. see crocodiles here. <laughs> There's a floating log there, looks a bit like a crocodile. Yay. Oh, this is a really deep bit. sensor and it's telling me we've got quite a lot of water going on we're still not up to max we can still take this few hours uh, spent here in Soli Hole. Absolutely fabulous. Great vehicles, great fun. Right, back we go. Hello. How are you? Oh yeah, great stuff, thanks. Yeah. Had a Thank great, you. great yeah. afternoon. Great yeah. afternoon. Thank you.